I'm going to start out using oil pastel. You can also use crayon for this. It doesn't have to be oil pastel. And I'm going to draw a line toward the bottom of the paper about halfway up, but a little bit toward the bottom, across to create a horizon line. I'm going to go up twice to create two little hills. I'm going to go up up again like that and that's it if you want to use crayon you can use crayon or you could even use um like a black marker or sharpie that would be fine too the next step is to use white paint which you can sponge the paint to make little clouds but instead of using white paint i'm going to use an oil pastel if you have white paint and you want to try this, all you need to use is a sponge, you could use a tissue, you could use a cotton ball, um, you could use anything like that, like a paper towel, and then just kind of crumple it up, dip it in your paint, and then make little dabs on your paper in a little circle or a little oval to make your cloud shapes. But for mine, I don't have those things on hand right now, so I'm going to actually just use oil pastel for my cloud. My suggestion would be not to use crayon, although if that's the only thing you have, you can try it. But I think I would rather use something I could even glue on, like cotton ball. I could glue that on. I could just kind of stretch it out and pull it and then make my shape with my glue and then kind of glue it on there. Or I could cut out with white paper the shape of my clouds and then glue those on. But for today, I'm going to use white oil pastel because I know that's going to show up really well. And if you have white oil pastel, you could do that too. So your options are you could paint it, you could use oil pastel, you could glue on some kind of white fluffy cloud material, or you could cut out a cloud shape with a paper and glue that on like a little collage. <laughs> going to set my paper to the side and I'm going to start by getting a white paper to draw my Percy the Porcupine. I'm going to put away my oil pastel because I don't need those right now. So I'm going to start out by making his outline. He's kind of like a potato shape. So you're going to start with just a big oval. I'm going to kind of fix the sides. I don't want it to be that wide. So I'm going to go back over the shape I drew just to kind of round it out a little bit. And then I can erase what I don't want to keep. I want to erase it, right? All right. Let's erase this bit. Okay, now I've got his head shape. All right, so next I'm gonna start by doing his two eyes set kind of widely apart. Two circles, and they have eyebrows that are curved above them. So curve the eyebrows. Then his nose is an oval that's sideways. If you need to, it's easier. You can always draw it up and down by turning your paper sideways. Don't make it too big, don't make it too small either. So that's about the right size. Then he has a smile, which is just a curved line, almost like a U, just underneath. And then his arms are kind of interesting. We're gonna do him kind of like he's running and holding his balloon. So we need to have one arm that sticks out. So we're gonna just go to the side of his face, just below his mouth, and go out around and back down. And then we need to do another one that's going to be a little bit in, a little bit under his eye, and about the same height across, and it's going to go out, around, and back so that it ends about the same place as it began. Okay? Then we just need to add his feet. So we're going to go to the bottom of his body, a little bit to the right side or to one side, but go to the right side and come down, come down on the other side. This one can go a little bit further. So this one's shorter and this one's a little bit longer. 
and then you're just going to come out and around and then connect it back up. Okay, we'll do that on the other side, the opposite way. So we'll make a short leg first, short line first, a little bit of a longer line after that, and then from the top short line, you're going to go around and connect to the back bottom line. Out, around, and back. Like that. So now he's got two feet. So that's all we need to do for Percy. And so once I find my black crayon, here it is. I'm going to trace my lines. But before I do that with crayon, because I can't go back and erase like Sharpie, I can go back and erase. But with crayon, I can't. So I want to just make sure I clean up my lines and I erase any stray lines or marks that I don't want because if I go back and erase after the crayon is there it's gonna smudge the crayon and it will make a huge mess so I'm gonna just make sure that I erase any extra lines I want to make it look nice and neat let's go ahead and trace The next step we have to do is cut him out. We don't want to draw his quills on him just yet because we need to glue him on the background. Otherwise, it would be impossible or almost impossible to cut out all of his quills. Now we're going to stop and cut him out. Let's do that. One of the ways I like to cut out the easiest is to go around my shape really simply and leave some of the details for the end. And then I go back in and I cut away those little sections that are harder to cut out and it makes it so much easier. So now I've got my Percy. He's all cut out. And then here's my background. So the next step is going to be to glue him on here. Okay, so I'm going to very carefully use my glue all. If you have a glue stick, you could use that. Just be really careful when you're going over these pieces, if you have a glue stick, you just want to go in the direction down. You don't want to go up and back because just like my finger did, it will kind of crumple them up. So I'm just going to outline him with my glue all. I'm touching the tip onto the paper so that it limits how much glue comes out. You don't want too much. Dot, dot, not a lot. Okay, and a little bit of glue will spread. So that's all you need to do to glue them on there. If you feel like going in the middle, you can just give them a little swirl, and then you're all set. So you're going to very carefully, I usually put my finger in the middle where there's no glue, and just lift up on the edge, and then pick it up, and try to hold it just on the very edges so you don't get glue all over your fingers. And then you're going to place him in the middle of your paper. You don't want him to be above the line or touching the line. You want the line to go behind him. So you're going to lay it down. And then from the inside outward, if you use oil pastel to draw him, oops, even the crayon smudges, you want to be really careful where you put your fingers. So you maybe want to just touch the white area and try avoiding the black lines. If you use Sharpie, you should be all set. All right, let me just push down his feet and his little arm. And now he's glued on. So now to add his quills. Um, I didn't bring any black paint with me home. So I have three colors that should mix together to make an almost black. So you can use a few different things to make the print of his quills. You can use a piece of your scrap paper. You could try just cutting a little square of it. Think about how long you want his quills to be though. So maybe that could be a little bit too long. Let me turn this side. All right, let me try that. That looks pretty good. I like that length of a quill. So then you could use that, dip the bottom in the paint, and just make print by putting it on its very edge 
to make the quilts and you want them to go outward. So you want the top ones to go up and down. You want the ones on the side to go out to the side. But you don't want to press too hard otherwise your paper can kind of crumble. Yuck. So mine's starting to soften. So if you need to, if yours is softening like that, what you can do is go over the trash and just cut off the bottom edge. And then you've got another new edge again. So you can get that wet. Because otherwise it might get too wet from being wet in the paint or too kind of bendy. You don't want to go down here. You don't want to go over his arm. So as you're going, you want to go around his arm. You don't want to go over his face either. You want to kind of stay at the edge. Now this one's pretty thin. So if you use any cardboard for our last project or you've got some cardboard at home that you can use, you can also use cardboard. So let me get rid of this one and I'm going to show you if you've got a cardboard scrap. Just take this. I'm just going to cut a little piece off of this. Swirl it around in your paint. And then this is nice because it actually gives you two edges at once. Because the way it is, is it has like one on one side and one on the other side. That's plenty, I think. Um, but one last method you can try. If you have an old gift card or your mom or dad will let you use their debit card or credit card, as long as you can wash the paint off, which you should be able to, I think even acrylic paint will wash off with soap, soapy water and a sponge, um, you can use that as well for your paint. So this is how you're going to do the quills and be careful not to go over his feet. Just go around the arm. And then that's it for Percy. So Percy is all done. Now I'm going to do the balloon. So the balloon is like its own project in itself. So set your Percy aside. 